welcome welcome one more time welcome one more time precious people of god as we come on to psalm 120 what a joy and privilege to be able to come into these wonderful psalms of the songs of our saints as we testify of the goodness of the lord in the land of the living we commence with a word of prayer Precious Father, in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we are grateful for this opportunity yet again to proclaim your word and to declare your goodness in the land of the living. So, Father God, as we proclaim Psalm 120, may your name be glorified in every way. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Beloved, in a topic, ascend in prayer. We come to proclaim Psalm 120. In the NIV 1984 version, and we proclaim it on the month of Kislev. Actually, this is the ninth month, November, as you know it in the Gregorian calendar, in the Hebrew calendar, is the ninth month. And we see it appear in the book of Zechariah, chapter 7, verse 1, and also we see it appear in the book of Nehemiah. Nehemiah, in the, um, Nehemiah chapter 1, in Nehemiah's prayer. Actually, we see it there when it says that the words of Nehemiah, son of Halkiah, in the month of Kislev. I really like that name, Kislev. And I know that we are in that month. We are on the ninth month of Kislev, which is what we call November. So it's 2023 as we are on the seventh month, a seventh season of 150 days of Psalms. I come to edify us that we may ascend in prayer, that you may continually rise up in prayer that you will not tire you will not retire you will refire and be in the place of prayer i am malcolm david your host and it's such a joy and blessing to be able to proclaim god's word together again and again and particularly in the month of kislev i really love that name kislev in the month of kislev so you can do some little bit more research um about about it on yourself and you know discover some things as we get some understanding psalm 120 he says i call on the lord in my distress and he answers me save me O god from lying lips and from deceitful tongues what will he do to you what will he do to you and what more besides O oh, deceitful tongue he will punish you with the warrior's sharp arrows, with burning coals from the broom tree, of the broom tree. Woe to me that I dwell in Meshech, that I live among the tents of Kedar. Too long have I lived among those who hate peace. I am a man of peace, but when I, when I speak, they are a war. Beloved, what a joy again to come to the place of understanding that the word of the Lord is coming expressly to us, particularly right now and with this message that I'm bringing upon us, that the Lord will help us to come to the place of ascending in prayer. Ascend in prayer. Rise in prayer. This is the first psalm of the book of the songs of ascents the song of ascents the songs that they were singing as they go up to jerusalem the psalms that are sung even today in in uh, modern israel as they go up onto jerusalem to seek the face of the lord we bless the name of the lord for giving us an opportunity the month of his love to be able to see the faithfulness of God manifest in each one of us and to see his major, major, major help coming upon us in a supernatural way that God will help us capture the desire to remain in fellowship with the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. The, what we call as the grace is a clear indication of what we ought to remain. The word of the Lord says, May the grace 
of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. That the grace of our Lord, may the grace of our Lord and the fellowship, may the, and now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. That the fellowship is very, very key in the place of prayer. If you do not have fellowship with the Holy Spirit, when you show up to the place of prayer, you will dry up in less than five minutes. You will be able to just say your needs. You will only show up before the Lord with needs all the time. You keep showing up there with needs. And when you go up with needs, sometimes they can become weary. Your soul becomes tired because some of those situations and conditions don't seem to go away. And you don't understand, you don't, and you don't see why is it that, you know, why is it that I'm praying about this circumstance? Nothing is changing, nothing is changing. So now you begin to complain. You don't show up before God to pray, you show up to complain. You complain, you complain, you complain, you complain. And then after you complain, you don't obtain. You know that? When you complain, you will not obtain. The best place to be when you want to ascend in prayer is a place of thanksgiving. Ascend in prayer, beloved. With this song of ascents, the word of the Lord says, I call on the Lord in my distress and he answers me. In a model of how you may pray from Psalm 120, you say, Lord, I call you today and I thank you for hearing me, Lord. Save me from lying lips and from deceitful tongues. Help me not give in to those advertisements and those enticements of the world. That may want to capture my attention everywhere. Lord, help me, have mercy upon me. Save me, O oh Lord, from lying lips and from deceitful tongues, I pray. That you would make this a prayer of ascend. That you will ascend in the Lord. That you will not remain in the place where you are. That you will come like David many, many times before God full of prayers. You will come before the Lord like Nehemiah many, many times with prayers. That you will come and call on the name of the Lord like Nehemiah prayed in Nehemiah chapter 1 verse 5. He made this prayer and I'm going to make this prayer because we're in the month of Kislev. I want to make this prayer of Nehemiah. At this time, as we begin to ascend in prayer. O oh Lord, God of heaven, the great and awesome God, who keeps his covenant, who keeps his covenant of love with those who love him and obey his commands. Let your ear be attentive. And your eyes open to hear the prayer your servant is praying you before you day and night to your servants, the people of Israel. I confess the sins we Israelites, including myself and my father's house, have committed before you, have, have committed against you. We have acted very wickedly towards you. We have not obeyed the commands, decrees, and laws you gave your servant. Give your servant Moses. Remember the instruction you gave to your servant Moses saying, If you are unfaithful, I will scatter you among the nations. But if you return to me and obey my commands, then even if you are exiled, people are the farthest horizon, I will gather them from there and bring them to the place where I have chosen as a dwelling for my name. But if you return to me and obey my commands, then... Even if your exiled people are in the farthest horizon, I will gather them from there and bring them to the place I have chosen as a dwelling for my name. They are your servants and your people, whom you redeemed by your great strength and your mighty hand. O oh Lord, let your ear be attentive to the prayer of this your servant. And to a prayer and to the prayer of your servants who delight in revering your name. Give your servant success today by granting him favor in the presence of this man. I was cupbearer to the king. This is an example of ascending prayer from Nehemiah. This is an incredible prayer that as we are making before the Lord in the month of Kislev 2023 
and it's not Kislev 2023, it's Kislev 5784 AD in the Hebrew calendar. You know, the Bible does not use uh, months like us, like Jan January, February, no, no, no. That is Gregorian. Majorly what we see in the scriptures, and I'm, I'm going to tell you that in another broadcast. I just want to stay focused on ascending prayer. I want to see us ascend in prayer. I want us to see us rise in prayer, rise in prayer, rise in prayer, rise in prayer, begin to rise in this season, in this time, in this moment, begin to rise, 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 rise up in prayers. Pray, pray, pray. Allow the Lord to connect you with this divine exchange that he will give you the instruments, the hallelujah. I, I learned a new term today. The way we know money is not how it is called in taxation. Money is not called money in taxation. It is called monetary instrument. It's called currency and monetary instruments. That there is a language that <laughs> when you begin to gain understanding, and you see things from an aerial view where you're seated in Christ, things become easier and they become sweeter and better. My prayer for you, my beloved friends, is that you will ascend in the place of prayer. In the place of prayer. In the place of prayer. Ascend. 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 Ascend in the place of prayer. That the Lord will quicken us into the place of ascending that you will be in the presence of God constantly seeking his face and seeing what he's able to do in your life and in our lives and you'll begin to see the faithfulness of God. You'll be able to see his majesty and that you'll be able to call on his name this month of his level and before and beyond and trust him. Trust him. Trust him. Trust him. Without your help, Lord, we cannot make it. And as we ascend in the place of prayer, it's a joy and a great delight. We bless the name of the Lord and give him all the praise. As we come to an end of this proclamation of Psalm 120, we give, all, we give God all the glory and we pray, may you ascend in the place of prayer. I am Malcolm David. Shalom.